Okay, so we have another integral on the board from the MIT Integration B 2018. This is problem number two. So we have the integral of this embedded uh, radical situation, square root of x, cube root of x, fourth root of x, fifth root of x, dot, dot, dot. This is going to continue infinitely. I think what I want to do before anything is just rewrite this whole expression and get rid of these embedded radicals that are so hard to deal with. So. If we look just at this first term, this first x, squared is, um, we can write that as a little two there. So we can write this first x as just x to the one half. Then if we move on to the next x, we notice we're under two radicals. So we have to consider that this is within a square root, but it's within a third root. So that's gonna be the same thing as x times one half times one third. Then doing the same thing with the next one, or within a square root, a cube root, and a fourth root. So we can write that as a half times a third times a fourth. What we, we can do to get a little, uh, make this a little more compact is we can write that as one over four factorial. Then similarly with the next one, we'll do one of x to the one over five factorial, x to the one over six factorial, and on and on to infinity. Great, now the convenient thing about that is when we multiply this together, we're just adding exponents. So we can kind of boil this down to just a single term of x, but then we're going to have this crazy exponent that's going to be, now we can write this as 1 over 2 factorial. We'll write the next one as 1 over 3 factorial. So this is this exponent is going to be 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial. You get the idea. And so now what the whole problem boils down to, since this is starting to look, we, we realize that this is just some number, this whole exponent. And if we know it's a number, we can use the power rule. Our only problem is we've got no idea at this moment what this number is. And so when we want to evaluate this, what we can do is, you may notice that this looks a lot like the power series for e to the x. Okay, so now you see on the right here, we have the power series for e to the x. And you'll notice the factorial, so it's looking kind of similar. But the problem, we have all these x's in the term in, in this that we don't have over here. But that's pretty easy to fix because what we can do is just evaluate e to the x at e to the 1 or just e. And then so that's going to be just plugging in over here, like plugging in, plugging in 1 into each of these x's. Okay, we're going to have 1 plus 1 here plus 1 squared is just 1 <laughs> over 2 factorial plus... 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial, dot, dot, dot. And then now you notice we have really the exact same thing we have over here, but only the end part. We don't have these two ones here, but we have all of this is the series we want. But then it's really easy to achieve an expression for that because we can just subtract a 2 on both sides, okay? So if we subtract, so over here on the left, we're going to have e minus 2, and on the right, we're going to have just... 1 over 2 factorial, 1 over 3 factorial, etc. So that means what we've done is we found an expression for our exponent. We found that this whole thing is just e minus 2, which is a number around 0.718. And we can plug that back in and finish off this integral. Okay, so now to polish this off, we can just um, use the power rule on this. So we're going to have x e to the minus 2, but we'll add a plus 1 to the exponent. This is just gonna be e to the minus one, and then we need to divide by e to the minus one, plus c, and then that's just to clean it up so it looks nice. For our final answer, it's x e to the minus one over e to the minus one, plus c, and we're done. MIT integration should be 2018 number two. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a good day.